Hi, here comes another series of ninja level shortcut keys. So this time I want you to notice how do I insert columns and rows using shortcut key. Let's say I want to insert a column between column B and column C. So what I do is I am going to press three shortcut keys one at a time. So I'm not going to press all the three keys at the same time. It's going to be one, then second key and then the third key. So after having placed my cursor on the column before which I want to add another column, I press Alt, I and then C. Quickly it adds up a column. Similarly, if you want to insert a row in between a couple of rows, then you will use a similar strategy. You will press Alt, I and then R. So there you go, it inserts an extra row in between. Now these shortcut keys are pertaining to 2003 version of Excel, although they still work in 2010, 7 and 13 version of Excel. In case, as an additional to the entire portion, in case you want to select the entire column or row, notice if I press Ctrl space bar, it chooses the entire column. Similarly, if I place my cursor on any one cell and if I press shift space bar, it includes in its selection the entire row. So these shortcut keys find them mentioned where in the previous sheet. So the one that we have used in this particular video is Alt I C, Alt I R. We also spoke about Shift Space Bar and Current Control Space Bar. Apart from this, as an uh, alternative to Alt I C, instead of inserting a column through Alt I C, you perhaps can also use this shortcut key of Shift Control Plus Sign. If you choose the entire column and if you press Control Shift plus sign, it adds another column. Let me just delete a couple of these columns, too much of a burden. And once I do that, let me also talk about a slight difference between Alt IC that inserts a column and Control Shift plus. If you put your cursor on any one cell, not choosing a column separately, just one cell, and if you then press Control Shift plus, it asks you that whether you want to insert a cell whether you want to insert an entire row or with, whether you want to insert an entire column. So this option then allows you to choose between the four options and then decide after pressing enter. So what Alt IC is doing is just adding a pure column. Alt IR is adding a pure row, but Control Shift Plus will give you the option how you would want to proceed. Well, it's an, uh, a final nail on the coffin. If you want to delete the entire row, you might also use Control minus. What Control minus tells you is you want to delete the row or column or cell. In this case, I choose the entire row and I press enter. So there you go. These are a couple of shortcut keys which will help you uh, manipulate the data, columns, rows and work with different workbooks, worksheets in a little bit faster mode. Thank you.